This is our demo of how to set up your ISS above. So this is uh, the box that the ISS above comes in. I just want to point out that on the bottom, you'll actually find your device's unique ID. Uh, that's on a label there. Uh, we're just going to open it. And inside the box, we normally just provide two things, which is the power supply. That's a five volt micro USB power supply. And then we also have uh, the actual ISS above unit itself. And then inside the case, just behind this first sheet, are the setup instructions, the setup guide. So I'm going to pick that out and just put that there for now. Just going to go through here. You will need one Ethernet cable. I've got that here and one HDMI cable, which is plugged into my little mini HDMI monitor here that uh, I'm going to be using for this. And so just to start, plug in the Ethernet cable by connecting the ISS above to your router. So this cable here is connected to my router, which is just over there. Uh, just the Ethernet port on this is just on the side. It's indicated on the photo in the guide here. Just plug it in. And the next thing is to plug the HDMI cable in right there. And then finally, just the power supply. Got to go in that order. It's very important that you put the power in last. You're now seeing the screen appear with a whole load of text. This is just the startup text um, showing that the little computer inside this is starting up. And in a few moments, it will launch the ISS above code that does all of the clever stuff. So it just takes a few minutes. You'll see that there are some lights that are flashing. And then this very important, really bright light that's uh, almost blinding us here. This is the light that announces whenever the space station is above your horizon. Uh, and it just starts up like that just to let you know it's working okay. So it, these are the initial startup screens. The very important thing is you need to configure the location for this. It doesn't come pre-configured. So there's a little note that's just on the bottom of the screen here. It says location unconfigured, go to, and then it gives a web address. It says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.57. And I'm going to go to another computer that I've got on my network here. And I tap in that IP address that was on the TV screen there, 57, hit enter. And this is the uh, screen that comes up where we will uh, select our location. At the moment, it uh, it's usually defaults to Pasadena. That's uh, near, near to where I live. So they all come set up in that location, but it's very easy to change it. I'm actually going to pretend that this device is over in uh, Johnson Space Center. That's mission control for the International Space Station. You can just enter your place to search for the location where you want this ISS above to be located. And I just happen to have the address for Johnson Space Center in there. You can just put the city, city and state, uh, or even the zip code, and it will find it. So here we go. I just click the search button and you'll see if I zoom in, it's right there, Johnson Space Center. So to complete that setup, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit here. There's an update button that I'm gonna click in a second. But before I do that, I uh, just wanna change this. Now you may or may not know, but each of the ISS above devices sends a tweet message to the space station um, every time the International Space Station gets pretty close to you. So, and the message that gets uh, sent is partially made up of what you put in here. So I'm actually gonna change this so that uh, the location is more custom to me, to this. So it's gonna be at uh, Johnson Space Center. ISS above in Houston, Texas. 
And then at that point, we just simply click the update button. And now that's it. The setup is complete.